What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, I wanted to go hunting today, but we had this misty bull crap all day long, and it's still kind of doing it, just definitely not as bad. The problem is, it's not even the rain now, it's the wind. So right now, the wind is just ever so slightly out of the north. That's supposed to be out of the east, followed by out of the south. So you can see why that would be a problem because it's just gonna be shifting and shifting and shifting. And uh, yeah, so it's it's gonna be, a, it's just gonna be a huge issue. So with that being said, my plan for today is gonna be just to do some scouting, um, what I call in-season scouting. You can do all the summer scouting that you want and I highly encourage doing it, but fall is a different breed. The deer are not in their summer patterns anymore. And if you can find a fresh scrape or some really fresh sign, I always try to hunt over it as soon as I can. Um, so we're gonna take a camera with us. I'm just gonna scoot through the woods real quick. Uh, just look to see if there's any fresh rubs, fresh scrapes. I got two cameras on this property to check and I wanna go down to the other property and check out my camera that I have in there. And I also made a mock scrape right in front of the camera. So I wanna see if that's been freshened up, walked in, anything. These deer are starting to move in daylight. These big bucks are just starting to move in daylight. Saturday we had a cold front push through. Sunday I was getting pictures of deer almost all day long on my cam on my cellular cameras. It's, 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 it's happening. I have off all next week, uh, essentially from the 1st of November till the 7th of November. That's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Things are really starting to heat up as far as the rut goes. So this week they'll be chasing, you know, you'll, you'll start seeing deer chasing. Next week though, um, it's gonna be even better. So I wanna get ready for that by doing an in-season scout and see if we can't find any really fresh sign, any fresh scrapes or anything like that. I I'm obviously, I'm gonna take a bow with me just on the off chance, you know, you never know. I don't wanna be without a bow, so. All right, let's go check these cameras.
just got to my second camera. Hopefully something good's on this one. It's very humid today. It's very weird. Nothing on that camera for, I don't know, the past week. I turned it off, turned it back on. Uh, I undid the batteries out of it. It's essentially trying to reset it. That just doesn't make any sense. I mean, none, none at all. So I also moved it just a little bit uh, down. I think it was up too high. So I, I don't know what's going on with that camera. Glad we got a little bit of excitement. With that little buck uh, cruising by. I mean, if the wind wasn't swirling tonight, I feel what they're calling for, I'd, go, I'd hunt, but the swirling wind just, I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, uh, leave a comment, I, I'd like to know, you know, I do learn from you guys, believe it or not, I mean, I got my safety harness on today, and I ain't even planning on climbing any trees, that's, my level of commitment to safety. So, um, I'm gonna work my way back to the truck and we'll go head down to uh, the old nursery property. Check that one camera I have down there. Um, I've hunted the tree stand where the camera's at like three times now. I've yet to see a deer in it. But I always get pictures of deer. Um, and since I put that mock scrape in, I'm really willing to bet that uh, something had to have been in there and hit it or, I don't know. Only one way to know, and that's to go check. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, everybody, we just got down to the old nursery property. Um, just wanna try to sneak in, check my camera and uh, to see if that scrape that I made has been hit at all. So, we might run into some deer walking in. Would not surprise me one bit. So, hopefully I can at least film them for you guys. And maybe if it's a big buck, get a shot. see his balls. <laughs> That's a button bug. I don't know what that deer's doing. Spooked about something, I guess.
some pictures of bugs in here during the daytime. So that was a very good uh, little scouting mission we did. On the way out, I did run across some deer. Uh, they were on the neighbor's property, though. I think they were about to come on to the old nursery property, but it just looked like some doe. Nothing to write home about, that's for sure. But, yeah, I mean, you guys, if you don't do these in-season scouts, um, highly recommend doing them. Especially, you know, normally in Pennsylvania, I try to always do it on a Sunday, uh, just because we're not allowed to hunt. And today it's like misty and the wind's gonna swirl in about every direction other than northwest. So I just kind of figured like, what's the point in sitting there, letting deer smell me, giving them a free education? Uh, might as well just do some scouting, minimum, uh, scent left behind figured it would be good so and uh thankfully on the way while i was walking out it really started misting hard again and uh i'm not getting the camera wet so it's unfortunately one of the downfalls with trying to film your own hunts is it does cut on the days that you're able to hunt just based on weather even like super windy days you guys don't want to hear that crap so just want to say thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing uh, I don't want I don't want anyone to miss any deer vlog action and if you enjoyed the video or learned something please leave a like it helps my videos reach more people and it helps my channel grow. I can only do that through you guys. So I just want to say thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.